boom, boom, boom. This, this, this. Boom. Got your kid in over here. We are continuing the series of the Dafiomi over here. 200 shekels. Yes, put the money over here. So indecent proposal. Today's Dafiomi. We are on tractate Kiddushin page number 13 over here. We're talking about indecent proposals. What can happen? The question, friends, in the Talmud in today's stuff is if someone steals something, uh, let's say some money or an item or whatever it might be, and then he proposes to another woman by saying that, let's say he stole from a specific woman and he uh, proposes to her by saying, I will give you back this money which I've stolen from you in condition that you accept my token of marriage. Is this marriage, Kiddushin, as they say, is that going to take place or not? in the Talmud today. So it's a discussion, actually, believe it or not. Rabbi Nachman will say adamantly, no, that doesn't take into effect. You can't steal something from another woman and then say, I'm going to return it to you. And if you accept it, uh, you will be betrothed. Let's just say you are gonna, we're going to get married. That is not a valid form. The question over here is, is she stay silent? We say it's not a valid form. However, according to Rabbi, building on a brighter, if from uh, the Gemara itself, it says it could be, then it will be. It will be. It's actually a discussion over here, over here. So imagine your friends, someone steals something from someone else and then says, I will return it to you. And then on this condition that you will marry me, even if they don't ignore and they give maybe a sigh, a bad sigh and say buzz off whatever in their head and they don't reply, there could be that some sort of effective uh, mode within regards to his proposal is going to take place. It's something to look into in the Daf. It's spoken about here in the Gadaf, in the da Dafyomi today, in the Talmud every single day. And they're very, very interesting. You see all these different wild situations that you could see uh, that, that might come up in all these different cases. Yeah, these are coming up inside each page of the Gemara. You can look at the Mepharashim, you can see the Rashi and the Tosvot and all these interesting insights to case scenarios which you would have never thought would come up. And very interesting, this is in Masechet Kiddushin. Here we are in page Yud Gimel today. Every day we're talking in this tractate within regards to different cases where someone might betray someone. What's the different steps to it? We've spoken about that there's a Kiddushin and then the Su'in stages over here, the engagement one. And uh, when they get fully fledged marriage, there's other ways of acquiring a wife. And it's all discussed in the Talmud in today's stuff. So guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, a fantastic Shabbat. I've done a lot of videos within regards to that. I mean, every day it's a daily Gemara video over here, and it's an indecent proposal. It really is an indecent proposal we see potentially in today's page of the Gemara. So guys, have a wicked Shabbat, an incredible one. And remember, this is all play acting. This wasn't actually happening in real, by the way. Okay, enjoy and take care.